I'm about to build the best team in my team. Now, I did do this video a while ago, but yes, already has changed, and this team is so much better. Because with 2K releasing these endgame Victor Wembanyama packs, man, these packs just changed everything. So, are you guys ready to see the team? Three, two, one, bam. Yeah, um, we may have done it again. We don't have any players. Because yes, we're gonna build this best team. And you know what? I'm gonna start with the three reserves that we're not even gonna use. The first one is gonna be endgame LeBron James. He's in the reserves. Next up, we have an endgame Bol Bol, who is also in the reserves. And then finally, endgame Paul George. Can you believe these three players are my reserves? Like, we're not even going to use them. That's how crazy this team is. Anyway, now it's time to look at the bench five. And this bench five is insane. Starting at our backup point guard, we've got the endgame Nikola Jokic. This man is a six foot 11 point guard. So he's obviously insane. Next up at shooting guard, we've got the cheapest card on this team being Jonathan Bender. The only reason we have him is because he's a seven foot shooting guard. And he actually has really good stats too. So I highly recommend you guys pick up this card because he goes for about 5,000 MT and he's in my best team in my team. Next up at small forward, we've got the invincible Victor Wembanyama, as he's obviously seven foot five and my version has 64 Hall of Fame badges. Then at power forward, we've got endgame Kristaps Porzingis. This man is seven foot three and is obviously an endgame card. And then finally at our backup center, we've got hero Manute Bowl. You know this team is crazy when Manute Bowl is on the bench. Mine also has 60 Hall of Fame badges. So man, Man, this is the bench. It is absolutely insane. Not to mention we also have these crazy reserves. But now it's time for the starters and this is going to be even crazier. Because at our starting point guard, we've got endgame Giannis Antetokounmpo. This man is such a beast as he's 6 foot 11 and he's the best point guard in the game. Next up at shooting guard, we've got the endgame Kevin Durant. I still absolutely love this card and he's 6 foot 10, so that's why he's there. And next up, we've got the endgame Victor Wembanyama. and you might be like, Angus, you've already got the invincible one as well. Well, you can run both of them. In the the same team. I know it's crazy. So endgame Wemby is about to be insane. Then at power forward, we've got one of the best cards in the game. One of the glitchiest being endgame Taco Fall. He's seven foot six and is an endgame car. And finally, to wrap up the team, we've got endgame Yao Ming at our starting center position. He is seven foot six as well. This team is just crazy. Are you guys ready to see it all? Three, two, one, bam. This is the squad right here. I actually can't believe it. Like it is just beautiful. Obviously, we've got the two versions of Victor Wembanyama. And then this team is just so tall and just so good. We also have a Dark Matter coach, even though we really don't need it, because this team pretty much has 9-9 everything anyway. So I obviously have to try this team out. Let's give myself a forfeit if we lose. Okay, this one's bad. If I lose, I have to smash Anna. If you guys watch my videos, you'll know how much this means to me and how lucky she is on the packs. So we are not going to lose this game, Anna. Trust me. And although I haven't been playing great, as we're 21 and 13, there's just no way we can lose with this team. So be sure to smash that like button if you're excited. And you know what? Without further ado, let's get into the game. Okay, this dude's team is interesting. I wouldn't say it's the best. I wouldn't say it's the worst. But you know what I would say about ours is ours is the best. Because watch this. Taco for... Ah, uh, well, um... Uh, uh, don't watch that. Literally, if I'm able to get used to this end game release, it is a GG. It is wraps for my opponent. Let's look at the fading three. It's green. Because that's the thing with these end game cards is yes, we can actually like get used to the release and then make absolutely every single shot. Back out to Yao Ming. We're greening that one too. Because pretty much every single one of the cards on my team right now does have the exact same release. And that includes this super fast taco. Look at how quick he is. Oh, that's insane defense. Like that's in... We got to get that yeah. rebound though. But what a snatch block by Yao Ming. Okay, we have to finish off this play. I cannot mess this up. So back up to Giannis. Giannis, wide open three. Let's pull it. I messed it up. For some reason, I actually feel like this taco is going to get multiple of those for us just because he's such a good card. And watch this. Fading three with Yao Ming. That's right. It's Yao Ming. He's rocking with endgame Steph. I'm interested to see how he goes with him. But straight away, we get a steal on that card. Back out to taco. Taco, is that a good shot? There's no... How is that a good shot? I guess the answer is it is just an end game card. And that right there is end game Steph Curry. So I can't be mad with that. But you ready? We just want to pass it to Taco straight away and then just pull the shot. That's all you have to do with this card. And like the crazy part about this team is it's filled, absolutely filled with end games. But it's also got the tallest players in the game. Because you'd think a player like Michael Jordan would be in the best team in my team. But nope, he's not at all. It is just players like Victor Wem and Yamo and Taco. I'm feeling a steal here. Or another block by Yao Ming. Yao is just way too good. And watch this. Just watch this taco it's only a two and i think i missed it i did miss it how did i miss that i don't know but 
Are we going to get a steal here? We need... Oh, that's a good pass. Sometimes you can get a little bit shocked, but sometimes you just get a payback with Taco. And just like that, Taco already has takeover. You know what? Let's give it to him. Let's give it to him. Let's run it to the right. Taco full. Greens once again. We have dropped 25 points this quarter, meaning, yes, we are on track for 100, and I want to get us to get a couple more blocks. I want to get a couple more blocks, especially with Yao. We end up getting a steal. Can we give it to Taco? Can he make the full court shot over on his head? No. No. But we're up by 13. The question is, how many more? Oh, Taco. Your speed is just... Un how does he get there that quickly? Bruh. It's a block. That's... It's another snatch block. I knew, I knew we were going to get another one. It wasn't with Taka. It wasn't with Yao, but that's okay because we're going to finish this one off with the wide open three. I feel like you're about to be safe, Arna. We've got Wemby wide open here. Let's run it to the left. Oh, Taka, I see you. I see you. And I'm so much more confident with shooting with this card for some reason. I brought Jonathan Bender on the floor. Don't know why, but it's okay because Wemby wide open in the corner. Greens again. Oh, that's a steal to Giannis. This is just insane by this team. Oh, Taka gets us another block. We are just getting so many blocks and now Wemby once again what do we think of the fader what do we think of it it's green that's insane defense again Yao Ming another rebound what about Wemby Wemby you're up again you're up again what about another fader let's pump fake it this time I thought he was going to jump he might have rage quit actually no he's still here he's still here and willing to play Wemby oh I miss I that's his invincible that's why I missed it it's his invincible card I didn't realize okay well it's fine it is fine and that's the that's the issue about rocking both of these cards, and you're just not sure which one is which, but I'm pretty sure this is the Invincible version. It doesn't matter for the dunks, though. We're winning this quarter 16 to 1, and although my starters just played absolutely insane, we had to bring my bench on. So the bench is now on the floor, including the cheapest card in the team, Water block by Wemby. But yeah, including the cheapest card in the team being this Jonathan Bender. I actually can't believe this card is in the squad. Like the fact he goes for as much as he goes for is just crazy to me. Wemby this time, the invincible version hits it as well. It's a steal. Come on, pick it up. Let's go. Jokic, what you got for me here? Maybe a st step back. Yeah, I love it. I missed it though. <laughs> I absolutely missed the shot. Don't worry about it though. Don't even worry because I missed another one. I actually just can't do this. Like, I don't know why. I just sometimes miss so many shots with these teams. It is unreal. Chris Tapps, throw it off the backboard and finish the down dunk. It's another inbound steal. Let's go up. Easy lay. Come on, we're on track for 100 points in this game, which will be so nice. And just like that, we get another block. I'm looking at Jokic this time. Jokic, let's get 50 might not be the best. But we are up by 27. I'm telling you, I wouldn't even be mad if, at people saying if they prefer the Invincible Wemby than the other version, the Endgame one. There's Bender's first points, and uh, there's the Rage Quit. You sort of expected that to happen, hey? Do I even really have to show too much more with this team? I actually don't even think so. Like, usually I'd get into multiple games, but I feel like you guys get it. This team is obviously the best team in my team, just because they can do absolutely everything, and they are so tall as well. To think we just casually have an Endgame, yeah, and Endgame Taco Fall as our bigs. It's just crazy to see them right there. But then also the fact we've got a seven foot five small forward in the starters and also off the bench just makes it even crazier. But trust me, if you guys don't have this Bender card, you have to get him. As I said, he's only seven foot, but he is just such a beast. And yes, he seriously makes it into this squad. When I've also got some insane dark matters in my collection that could replace him, nah, I still believe it. This Jonathan Bender is the second best shooting guard in my team. So pick him up. I feel like the best players on this squad are definitely either Taco, Yao Ming, or Giannis. But really, you can pick and choose out of any single one, just because all of these cards are obviously insane. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this team, as I think it is absolutely insane. And once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for new, follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And man, I guess that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.